All right, so you can see here, I've got two Steam Decks. I've got the glossy screen and I've got the etch screen. They're both reflective. They both create a mirror finish. You can definitely see what's in the reflection. With the matte one, it's a little bit harder to make out fine details. With the glossy, it's kind of like a mirror. And it might not be exactly what you think it is when it translates to actual game usage. So I spent some time using both of them. I took some video as well as stills of each. And I've come to a pretty strong conclusion about what I think and the difference of them and which one is better for me. But I just want to start by saying that this is not going to be the case for everyone. And I'm going to do my best to come at this video from uh, a very objective point of view for why you might want the etched screen or why you might want the glossy screen. So with that, let's get started here. I'm going to show some stills on the screen. Here are just a couple of comparison videos. Matte screen is on the top. Uh, glossy screen is on the bottom. And what you may notice right away is that contrast is just a tiny bit higher on the glossy than it is on the matte. Now, I've seen some other videos comparing the two and they don't have as much of a difference. You might be saying, but Tony, they look practically the same in the dark. That is actually not the case. And what I'll show you in a bit here are the screens that I took comparing them in the dark. But for now, I just wanna highlight that during the daytime, there does seem to be a little bit of a noticeable difference. Um, the thing that I noticed right away and my wife pointed out too, uh, was that it seems like there's just like a very, very light layer. Like imagine just the, the lightest white layer on top of the etch screen over the glossy one. And that makes sense because when we're playing in an area that has light, light is uh, being dispersed across the screen much more evenly than it is with the glossy screen. The glossy screen, it just hits and reflects like a mirror versus the etched one, there's a lot more diffusion. So we would expect that light to spread more evenly over the screen. That does actually present some problems when it comes to brighter lights, which I'll get to towards the end of the video. Uh, but for now, what I wanna do is talk a little bit about the difference in the colors. Because of that contrast difference, uh, it's definitely noticeable. And with some colors more than others, and before uh, I get too far into this, let me just say, yes, I know that there are panel variances. I know that these are not going to look the same just because they may have come off of the product line at a different time of the day when, you know, certain parts of the machine were running hotter than others. There's so many factors that you have to control for when you're comparing the two. But that being said, to me, I can tell the difference that is kind of hard to show you in pictures and video, but I'm going to do my best to explain. So let's start with the first one here. Cocoon is a game that gives us like a great grasp of how different colors look because we have just these super intense color palettes. The first one here, this one I felt was very apparent right away to me. Um, and it's less apparent when I actually drill down and like take the color selector and show them side by side. But definitely this red zone definitely seems to be a lot more red in the glossy than the matte version. The blues are very similar, almost the same but the red definitely seems darker. Um, if I show you the same one uh, in the nighttime, which is say I went into my bathroom and closed all the doors and made it as dark as possible, uh, you'll see that that effect is actually even greater than it is during the day. Um, that was kind of surprising to me. I actually expected these to be more similar to each other and maybe there's certain things I didn't control for, like the fact that both screens are side by side. Perhaps some of the light being given off by the glossy one is causing dispersion on the mat. I'm not sure. I, I looked at them side by side and by themselves and I kind of saw similar things, um, which is to say that the mat definitely doesn't have as high contrast as the glossy. Now moving here into this scene, we can see that there is uh, a lot more greens and blues here. And this is where we expect to see less difference. And in general, we don't see as much of a difference with the green and blue as we do with the orange and the red. Uh, and to that point, I think that also maybe a little bit of what we're seeing is maybe there's potential variance of white balance between these screens. Because the last one I'm gonna show you here uh, is towards uh, the end of the game, there's like an all white part of the level. Um, and we have a couple of different shades of white on the screen. And what you may notice is that the shades on the right for glossy uh, actually seem to be slightly more saturated, slightly warmer, which just gives more support to my argument that the colors are more contrasty on the glossy than the matte. So when we're talking about comparing the performance of these screens, color is not the only consideration. Uh, something else that's worth considering is their reflective and anti-reflective properties, which this may come to surprise you, I actually felt that the glossy screen was a little bit better, especially with harsh lights. So I used a flashlight and I used some combinations of low light and harsh light with it um, up to 650 lumens. And what I found was that the etch screen 
uh, more often than not, actually blew out the entire screen whenever we had a harsh light on it. Versus the glossy screen, even though we get a much more focused uh, light source on our screen and it might be sort of more painful to your eyes if something like that reflects back into it, uh, I actually found that it was less disturbing to my, my image quality than using the etched one with a harsh light on it. Now, the last test that I did, super scientific, was I asked my wife which one was which. Now, when she first walked over, I didn't have this on camera. It was actually that red image from Cocoon in the beginning. Uh, she immediately pointed to the glossy and said, that one looks better. Which is funny because I hadn't told her which one was which. There wasn't like an obvious light source that was making one seem like glossy and one matte. She just pointed and said, that's definitely the better one. I said, that's very interesting. So I ran the test again, this time in a dark environment. And I put the glossy screen on top and the matte screen on bottom, just to make sure that she wasn't biased towards the bottom one. I didn't tell her that, I just said, come over and tell me which one's better. And she immediately pointed to the top one, which was the glossy at this point, and said, yeah, the glossy one looks better. And here's where things are a little tricky, because looking at that video now, it seems like the one on top is actually less contrasty than the one on the bottom. But I can tell you with my eyes, when I looked at it, it definitely seemed more contrasty. I had a second person who was not watching this, who didn't know which one was which, telling me the same, so it's not my own bias. At least I sure hope not. And I think that sort of just adds more proof that the glossy has a higher contrast, at least the ones that I have. I know, panel variants. But let's just assume for a second, because the edge screen disperses light more evenly, so of course we would expect to have like more light across the screen and sort of maybe like a layer of light in between us and the screen itself, it would make sense that it is more contrasty to have the glossy than the etched. But here's the thing. I am obsessing about the differences in these two panels, and the reality is they're not that big. If I was going to make a suggestion for which panel is for who, I would say that really, if you had seen one without ever seeing the other one, you wouldn't care. Like, if you got the etched one and you never saw a glossy one, you'd love it and never have a problem. Same if you had the glossy and never saw the etched. That being said, I think there's a couple use cases where it's worth pointing out why it might be worth having one over the other. The etched one, I think, is going to be great if you play in an area that has a lot of motion around you. So let's say you play on the bus or the, the train to work and there's a lot of movement. I think you're really going to appreciate that with the etch, reflections are not as distracting, especially when they're moving by. But if you're someone who wants the highest contrast and you really like the look of OLED and you want the deepest colors, glossy is going to give you just a tiny bit more, 5-10% more, and the sharpness to me is nicer. With the etch screen, you get it's almost like anti-aliasing for your screen. The softness at first blush is kind of nice. You're like, oh, everything looks smoother because it's not as sharp. But as you start to play with it and use it more, you start to notice that while text definitely seems like very crisp, there are certain things that seem, well, just honestly less sharp, which I know it's different from smooth. Smooth is like a pleasing thing, less sharp is a bad thing. And so, like I said, if I had never seen one or the other, I really, I probably wouldn't care or know. But having seen both of them side by side, for me, the choice is very clear. I want the glossy. One, because I really want the highest contrast I can have for the colors. I want the highest clarity possible. I don't mind reflections sometimes being distracting in my Steam Deck because I'm not typically using this in a place with a lot of movement. I'm typically playing at home uh, or somewhere stationary. And most importantly, it's cheaper. It's $100 cheaper. And I was always going to upgrade the SSD myself uh, with a 2 terabyte. You can even get a 1 terabyte that's still cheaper than buying the 650 etched version of this. Yes, it comes It comes with a different case. It comes with the, the pull-out case here. Uh, I don't really care about this. this. This case actually ends up being slightly thicker than the one that this is the one that is the the one for the etch screen and this is the one that is for the glossy this one ends up being slightly thicker for having that travel case in it we're talking maybe like five millimeters uh thicker than the one for the glossy it doesn't matter it's not a big deal again we're obsessing over details here both these panels such an upgrade from the lcd screen amazing they're both amazing whichever one you have do not feel bad if you bought one you're looking at these thing oh man i should have gotten the matte or i should have gotten the glossy like, 
If you can return, you can get the other one, great. But if not, like, just enjoy your Steam Deck. It's great. In a year or two, they're going to come out with Steam Deck 2, and you're going to get another one anyhow. So, like, don't sweat it. If, if it's, like, a really big thing, so you got the LE and you really like that glossy screen now, at some point, iFixit or whoever else is going to make a replacement screen. It's going to be glossy. You can just install. Hopefully, it'll just fit just right. And then it won't even matter. You can just have whichever one you want. The fact is, these are both amazing panels. The differences are very slight. And I think for most people, glossy is probably the way to go. Save the hundred bucks, have a screen that looks really great in most conditions. If you are sensitive to reflections or if you just really hate being able to see yourself in the reflection of your screen, which I think takes a lot of people out of the game, then sure, get the etch screen. I think that they're both great and I don't think you can go wrong with either. Now, I know that I kind of rushed through this. There's a lot more to talk about. If you have more questions, go ahead, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what else I can answer for you about the difference in these two screens. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Please like the video and I'll see you in the next one.